Hello, hello. This is the children's message for Sunday, January 24th. And today I am back in a familiar spot. If you were here in the church with me, you would be right here, right? These are your seats. I'm sitting where I usually sit uh, for children's sermons. It'll be so great when um, things are better with the pandemic and uh, you can be in here with me back in your normal spots. Children's sermons just aren't as fun without you here with me. But today I decided to come in here because I wanted to um, <clears throat> talk about the different colors that we use in our church worship service in this room, which we call the sanctuary. One of the important um, pieces for worship is to have um, the, the fabrics that you see on the altar. In our church, we're really blessed with these uh, beautiful banners. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you probably remember them. And then um, the pulpit has one, the lectern has one. We call them pyramids. I just moved my head. There it is. There's the banner. We call them pyramids. So that's a word you don't say very often, but it's a, a church word that we use to describe um, the cloths for church. So what we put on the altar and um, the pulpit and uh, the, the lectern back there. Sorry, it's really sunny too. And right now, what color are they? They're green, right? They're green often. Um, it's the color that comes up the most, but they just came back to green. They were, it was Christmas or it was Advent and they were blue and Christmas and they were white and uh, white for Epiphany as well. And they just came back to green, which is um, the color of growth and renewal so that's the color that we um we experience a lot during the church year when it's just um, what we call ordinary time so when it's not christmas or it's not lent or it's not easter it's green i, I put on one of my favorite green stoles today it was a gift from someone and it's one of my favorites because of all the children on there uh, they all look different and they're all holding hands and happy to be together and it reminds me of all of you and um, and how how special each one of you are to me and to God. So uh, next time you're in church, be sure to note um, what color it is. I don't know what color it'll be when you come back. It'll be kind of a surprise. <laughs> and I'm gonna try throughout this year um, to teach you about the different colors as they come up. Uh, be watching in uh, Lent will be when it switches again. Um, if you have any guesses or you know what color it is, ask your um, parents to send it to me and um, I'll get a prize for the first person that can tell me what color it is during Lent. Let's see, the first person that um, either texts or call, text or emails me what color it will be um, during Lent. And then when it gets uh, gets here, looks like, I, <laughs> looks like I only have half a face because of the sun. And then when it gets here, I will talk a little bit about why it's that color, which I have almost said a few times. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that you have a great week. Uh, if you go to school in Rochelle, I think you went back in person maybe some other places too. So I hope that went well and um, that you're feeling good about the plan. Know that I am always praying for you, that you're safe and healthy and doing well and that you'll soon be back here on the floor. Um, but until then, thank you for watching my video. If you know the Lent color, tell your parents or whoever's helping you with this video and see who can be the first to get it to me for your prize. <laughs> Have a great week.